6, interview with Isaac Reifer, tape number 5. Mr. Reifer, this picture that we're looking at, can you tell us who, who is in the picture? Uh, the first person on the right is my uncle Ichu. He was the oldest son of uh, my grandfather, Leibela Reifer. He was uh, a very quiet, fine, educated, honest man, learned person. And Next to it is uh, my aunt Brancha, Brandel, which was a sister of my br of my father. She was the one which they sent right in the beginning of the war. Which I told the story, on the uh, they found the hiding place, and they sent us a box of ashes from Auschwitz. She left two children with her husband at home. Her name was um, uh, Brancha Zenser. Her husband was Aaron Zenser, a flawless man. A man, an intelligent man, and the two children, um, uh, they all went, to, all were killed in the Halikas. Next to Brian Chai is my mother. My mother, Rivka, she should rest in peace. She's the one which left me alone and, and she was taken away and she never saw me again. I remember, I, like I mentioned, I remember the last evening I saw her when she went to work. Next to my mother, is uh, my aunt and my uncle right behind my mother, the main, my uncle, which are alive in Israel. His name is Getzel and Dincha. The shorter one to my mother, next to my mother, is my also an aunt of my, uh, of sister of my father. She was the one which died on the way going to Auschwitz, which she had the two children, which I mentioned that story on the tape. And the sitting person is my grandmother, Rachel Feigl was her name, Richter, which I told you that I traced her great-grandfather, Nehemia Richter, which was died in 1820 in Kshanov. He was a man which was uh, learned, versed the Bible 80 times in his lifetime, the known uh, scholar. Next is a, a person, is Topsha was her name, Topsha Dereshevitz was her name, her maiden name. She was married to a brother of my father. His name was Herschel. They had one child, Itzek, and he, they all perished during the war. Next to, uh, behind Topcha, is um, a lady which also perished. She was a daughter of, of, of Itcher Reifer, of Itcher of my uncle, which is right here in this picture, uh, on the side. Also perished. And the other person, I cannot uh, remember the names, but the last person is the wife of my uncle, uh, which was, uh, she, her, name, her maiden name was Kurz from Kshanov. And she was, uh, she had, they had uh, a number of children. Um, uh, as a matter of fact, one of their child is, uh, uh, one of the daughters' name is Hanya Reifer, which I'm very fond of her. I used to live in, in, in Ringsburg with them. She's my favorite cousin. She lives in Los Angeles. She has a family, a husband, Sina Barber, and uh, two children, a son, Jaime, which has also uh, two children, uh, three children, two daughters and a son, and a daughter, um, um, and a daughter, which has a daughter, which has a daughter. Do you know when, family. approximately, and where this picture was taken? This picture is, was taken um, uh, before the war. Uh, it must have been in 1938. In Shanov. In Shanov. Uh, this is the synagogue, uh, the s b uh, main synagogue in Kshanov. Uh, it's a drawing. It's, uh, this is it. This is where a lot of Jewish people were praying, uh, but uh, in the town of Kshanov. And this is from a book? This is from a book, yeah. And, and this book is about Kshanov? Kshanov. This is my uncle, uh, Shemi Schlesinger, and his wife is Handel, which was a sister of my father, Reifer, Abraham Reifer. 
and they took me, and I am next to them, they took me on an outing because they were childless, they didn't have children, so they always took me wherever they went. And that picture was taken in, in the beginning of 1939 in Krenica. How far, how far is that from? It's, uh, it's in the mountains then in Poland. Uh, it's probably uh, 200 miles approximately. Uh, Uh, there are two boys. Uh, the, the one on the left side is uh, this myself, Isaac Greifer, the survivor. And the other one on the right side is my cousin, which is also was named as Isaac Greifer, but I am on the left side. I am the one on the left. W what is this picture of? This, uh, this picture was a gathering when my grandmother's brother, uh, from the second marriage from my father, which was living in Berlin, he, uh, he emigrated to Palestine in 19, uh, beginning of 1939, or it was at the end of 1938. So on the step over on Kshanov, this picture was taken with his family, with his sister, which was my, my grandmother's on that picture too, Rachel Feigl. And this was the whole family? This, the, the part of the family, that's part of the family. That's my mother, my mother was there. Um, uh, she should rest in peace. And, uh, and there was uh, part of the family was, uh, was there, but not everybody was on that picture. There was uh, some other aunts and uncles and cousins. And uh, the one here at the end uh, is my brother, which perished, Moshe Berish Reifer, uh, standing straight like a, a big little boy. And this is uh, my brother, which, was, which perished in the camp. They killed him. This is my brother Moshe Berish, which was taken to a working camp right in the beginning of the war, and he perished. Let him rest in peace wherever he is. How he old did was not survive. he when he was he, taken? Uh, well, he, he must have been about uh, 17 or 18 years old. 18 years old. 17. Approximately 17. Do you know approximately what year this picture was taken? It, this picture must have been taken before the war, uh, like uh, 39, 1939. This is myself, Isaac Reifer, the survivor. Uh, this is the Black 66 in Buchenwald. I took a picture uh, about a month or, or two months after the liberation from the American Buchenwald. That's myself next to the barrack 66, where all the young people were. So this must have been about the spring of 1945, correct? Yes, it's, it's, yeah. This picture was taken in 1945 we were together with all the uh, young people in Buchenwald, in the concert, uh, but we were living in the German quarters. So uh, coincidentally, somebody took a picture of us. I'm in the center on top sitting there. It's myself, Isaac Reifer, in Buchenwald, 1945, after the liberation of the American. This is a picture taken in 1947. Uh, when I, uh, or, or was it uh, at the beginning of what he said, <clears throat> I came to visit my brother in a sanatorium. He was sick on tuberculosis, and I came to visit him. Uh, um, uh, this is my brother, Samuel Reifer, and I am next to him. Uh, uh, I came to visit him. Do you remember where in Poland? This in, um, uh, uh, in, in Yelenia Gura. In Yelenia Gura. In Yelenia Gura. There's a sanatorium. I came to visit him in a sanatorium in Yelenia Gura. My brother, my, old, my oldest brother, and myself. This picture was taken at my sister's wedding in 1946. I think it was in 1946. And on this picture, you have my sister in the, in the um, wedding dress, and I have my brother-in-law in the head. And next to, on the right side, is my brother-in-law's uh, uh, brother, uh, Sulek Hirschbeck, 
and his mother next to the bride, and I am right behind, uh, next to uh, my brother-in-law, Malachishbek, on the left side. That's myself, Isaac Reiter. Survivor. And what but year this was this? It must have been the end of 1946. Uh, 46. And where? In Regensburg, Germany. Regensburg, Germany. This is my wedding picture, uh, myself, Isaac Reifer, with my wife, uh, which, uh, on the wedding day, which took place in Tel Aviv in 1954, on April 12, 1954. This is um, my wedding picture. And your myself, wife's name? My wife, Ruth uh, Teicher uh, Reifer. This is my wedding, my family wedding picture, and is which took uh, the wedding which took place in Israel in 1954. Uh, the, the my uncle Jared and his wife, and I'm next to my aunt, and this is my niece, uh, which is my sister's daughter Rivka, and my wife, the bride, my brother-in-law's mother, and then comes uh, a number. Of, my sister's right behind me. Uh, holding a uh, hand on my shoulder, and my brother-in-law and his brother is also right next to them, each other. There, then there's my uncle Gessel, which survived the youngest brother of my fa of my father, and the rest is a uh, family, distant family, like cousins and uh, Linka Goldberger and his mother Sucha and his, and Runka and her husband uh, Linka's husband and so on and so forth. And your Uncle Jared, who you would My uncle about. Jared he's is sitting see, on, on this picture. He's sitting. He was the main player in the in in the in uh, Schindler's List, and he was my like my father to me after the war. I was living with him for many years, and I heard from him the story before the Schindler book was written. And his wife's name? His wife's name is Heitcher. They are the, they survived by themselves, and they have three children. They lived in agony uh, during their lifetime. Uh, without the children, the children perished during the war, Hitler's uh, gas chambers. This is, those are, uh, this is a picture of my three children, my daughter, which was the oldest, and which is, uh, and then comes in the middle my son, Maxi, Zeb Elimelech in Hebrew, they call him, and my youngest is uh, Avram Misocha, which was named after my father, my three, my two boys, and my daughter. Approximately when was this picture taken? Uh, this picture was taken in the, either in the, in the late uh, 80s or in the beginning of the 90s. It was in 89 and 91. Uh, those are the children of my daughter. The oldest is Moshe Eliyahu, and he, is, uh, he was just, we just celebrated his 30th, 30th birthday on, in April. Which we call it Bar Mitzvah in the Jewish uh, uh, religion, and then you have uh, next to it you have Elisa, which is next to Moshe, and Dana, which is the uh, the cutie, right next to her. She has also another daughter, which is her name is Tamar. She was uh, she's going to be just a year in February. This is my daughter Renee with her youngest, uh, Tamar. Uh, she's going to be in February, a year old. Those are my two grandchildren for my son, Zev uh, Elimelech uh, in Hebrew, we call him. Uh, his daughter is, uh, just, is um, Tzipora Ayelet, and we just celebrated she was three years old, her birthday, and next to her is her brother, Yoni which is about a year, a year and four months old. This is my uh, um, granddaughter, uh, my youngest son, uh, um, Abraham Issachar's daughter. Her name is Miri. She was uh, also three years old. She is named after my, my mother-in-law, my wife's mother, Miriam, which passed away in 1989 in Israel. She should rest in peace. This is my, uh, my uh, son's, uh, um, Avram Isachar's, my youngest son's Avram Isachar's daughter. She's his youngest daughter. She's about 14 months old. She, her name is Tamara.
Don't you know? This is my granddaughter for my younger son, uh, Avraham Isacher, and her name is Daniela. He's about 14 months old. Mr. Reifer, will you introduce your family? Yeah, I would like to introduce my uh, immediate family. It's my wife next to me, Ruth Reifer, and uh, right behind there, I have two granddaughters. Uh, one is uh, Alisa, the big one, and Dana is the younger one. And of course, my daughter, my oldest daughter, Renee. And next to her is uh, Maxi, uh, William Max, which you call in Hebrew Zev Elimelech. And my, but, uh, my third son was not able to attend because he lives far away, he lives in Washington. And his two children, which is uh, uh, the older one, is Mary and Daniela. And uh, my uh, daughter's big boy, which was just by Mitzvah in April, was, uh, has to take a, a test, a high school entrance test he, to study. He couldn't come. And the infant wasn't able to be here. Uh, but my um, disappointment about my son, uh, Zev Elimelech's children, just felt suddenly sick, so uh, could not come to participate. And, um, and uh, uh, the name of the children is uh, uh, um, Ayelet, Tsipora Ayelet, the girl, three-year-old, and Yoni, which is 14 months old. And this is a rather special day for your son today, isn't it? Right. Yes, it is. Today is my birthday, January 16th. Uh, I was born 37 years ago, January 16th, 1959, and I'm here to uh, bear witness that both of my parents who are Holocaust survivors and they've built a life, they've built a family and uh, built a pretty large family, a bigger one to, to, uh, to come for the future. And uh, that's what we're here. We're here to show that we all uh, survived. My parents have survived and uh, they've built a family. Renee, would you like to say something? My name is Renee and um as my father mentioned, um, I'm sorry my son couldn't be here. He's studying for an exam and my infant couldn't be here. My husband's studying with my son. Um, just to reiterate, we're all very happy and um, proud to be able to be here with my parents who are survivors and um, ha are able, have been able to um, establish roots in this country and produce a large family. and. We're very, very proud of their accomplishments. I think that these tapes, um, these interviews are very, very important. I think it's important to publicize uh, the experiences of the survivors. I think it's important that, that future generations see these tapes, which will be the witness of, of, of the atrocities, the tragedies, the horrifying experiences that many of the Jewish people, Eastern European Jewish people, suffered through during the Holocaust. Um, it's been unfortunate that we were unable to know many, many of our wonderful relatives. Um, we've heard many stories about them. You've seen many pictures and heard stories from my dad. Uh, my father and I, I was um, fortunate to be able to go with my father to Washington, I believe about 10 or 11 years ago when there was a world gathering of Holocaust survivors and second generation and it was a, a, a very special experience for me. Uh, my father had opened up and was able to share some of his experiences um, during the war. And we hope that through these tapes and future, um, uh, future um, gatherings such as the one in Washington will help further publicize and, and um, make sure that future generations will remember this and that we will never ever forget uh, what the Jewish people have been through. Just as we say um, on Passover when we sit and we discuss the, the, uh, the Jews as being slaves in Egypt, I think it's very, very important that we continue to keep talking about this and publicizing it forever and ever. Thank you. Mrs. Reifer, would you? I'm very bad at that, and I get very emotional, and I don't think I can talk about it. I'm also a Holocaust survivor. I lost my father when I was six years old, and I can't talk anymore. Well, I want to thank you all sharing, um, certainly Mr. Rocker, sharing your story with us and your family, and uh, we thank you for your testimony, and, uh, and thank you for helping us with the work we're doing. Thank you.
Thank you.